Hero Taekwondo friends welcome back again in my channel today we will discuss the most common question about Taekwondo. Is Taekwondo effective in street fighting? I won't get a lot of upvotes for my answer here and it's long to address so many misunderstandings but I didn't come here to make friends or just agree with the general opinion others. I'm always disappointed by the number of people who answer specific questions about Taekwondo when it's clear that many have never even set foot in a real Taekwondo class, or have wasted years of training at a school that claims to teach Taekwondo, but should be dedicated to tournaments or kids, or who what do you know? It is not the art of Taekwondo. Please don't collectively put together all the pathetic clones and sports schools under the same label as the original Korean Taekwondo martial arts, and then try to judge their effectiveness. So many answers about Taekwondo seem to come from people who have watched the tournament or the Taekwondo Olympics, and seems to describe what they think Taekwondo is based on the rules of technique that are allowed or not allowed. Also, anyone claiming Taekwondo training claiming it is not effective in real combat, or unsuitable for self-defense has been duped, and should find a real Taekwondo master to learn from. Sorry, but nobody from legitimate training would have such a wrong idea. I've seen it in action I've used it in action. I am not at all misleading about the effectiveness of Korean Taekwondo. Tilda seriously, are you really proposing that the Korean national martial arts, based on millennia of influence, culminated with modern research and scientific knowledge, tested in real battles during the Korean and Vietnam wars, have no basis in self-defense, doesn't practice, contact, with opponents, doesn't punch in the face or kicks under the belt, or can't be used in daily self-defense except against drunk rookies. Please, do not speak out of ignorance about this art. Most of the comments on Taekwondo's effectiveness clearly describe the attributes displayed in tournaments rather than in real Taekwondo martial arts training. The original question here was, does Taekwondo help you in street fights? That's the only question asked, and that's the only problem that has to be addressed from the expertise of those who have trained in Taekwondo, and already have experience using their Taekwondo skills on the road. The answer to that question is clear. Taekwondo has a wealth of knowledge and skills which, when taught properly, diligently studied, and applied on the street appropriately, can and will lead to success in any street fight against any opponent of any size, regardless of what system they have learned or practiced. In, no martial arts system is guaranteed to work around the clock, but don't suggest that Taekwondo is any less effective without backing up such claims with proven, hard facts not outside opinions and personal observations. This is my profession and career, so I will not sit idly by while others destroy an entire art based on limited knowledge and misinformation based on sports games and poorly managed schools. The only deciding factor in a fight is the extent of the level. The training you have had compared to your opponents, how well you have learned to apply what you know, and the time you have applied those skills in response to what your opponents are doing. This is battle after fight, and even step by step scenarios are not arts. A person who is more trained and with more proficient skills will have a greater chance of victory, not guaranteed, than a less skilled opponent no matter what martial arts system you are comparing. Absolutely no system has an innate or automatic advantage over the other, and the original. Art of Taekwondo, not the McDojang in McDojo of other systems cannot be considered useless, ineffective, or even, less effective, for any reason. Rules of the sport, and poor non-contact training, where breaking boards that show strength is more than breaking bones. We use kicks that far surpass most other attacking skills. We practice with lots of open and close, straight and circular, from all angles, and close elbows and knees. We perform pressure points, joint manipulations, joint dislocations, choke restraints, and yes, ground combat but not with the same strategy and tactics as wrestlers, jujutsu, jujitsu, or judo players. I have been a wrestler, both university college and professional wrestler. I have studied judo since childhood and held the black belt there. You won't beat a wrestler, grappler, judoka, jujitsu on the court with their tactics, and you'll never be better than a wrestler in ground combat unless that's all you learn. However, till the most modern, taekwondo, schools that have eliminated wrestling, or punch, or real-world resistance fighting from their school curriculum, for sports, family fun, or whatever, do not teach the art of Taekwondo completely. It's not art that's lacking here, but mostly fast-track black belts that pay for degrees, or learn from others who haven't studied the original art or don't have the ability to teach it properly. What you have to do is be selective where you practice Taekwondo check credentials and lineage back to the original Kwan and make sure that instructors have a current active chain of command for masters, and grandmasters with regular training for themselves. If you train from a hobbyist, 
or low-level black belt, or tournament fighter, or in your neighbor's backyard from your best friend who had a year or two of Tui Kan Du at the YMCA club, he calls it the dojo, then you get what you pay. Sorry guys truth in reality. There's nothing wrong with Taekwondo, just substandard classes, schools and instructors and yes, Taekwondo will help you in street fights. Blank, underscore underscore, any, martial arts, that doesn't actually involve hitting anyone, like Taekwondo and most other martial arts styles, would probably do more harm than good. So where did you get the misinformed opinion that we never use Taekwondo on the street? Did you read about it in a book? Did you see it in the movies? Did you learn this valuable insight into our art by watching YouTube tournament videos? Obviously you don't get that kind of wisdom by actually becoming a Taekwondo student. So my question is why are you here telling others what Taekwondo is or isn't, and what we do or don't do? Because they instill a sense of being able to handle something that you have no real experience real combat. What makes you think we have no experience in real fights? What a lame fallacy to throw up in a failed argument. Be in a real street fight against a Taekwondo expert, black belt or master. Have you ever been kicked, punched, thrown, strangled, or restrained in a painful manner or joint manipulation by a Taekwondo expert? No, then what do you know? I'm so tired of seeing these novice and non-Taekwondo experts insult this art or try to tell others what Taekwondo can or cannot do. Now they spread their ignorance and lies, then lock up any answers so that no one can fight their misinformed opinion. From the opinions of dozens of martial arts practitioners when asked what martial arts are the most effective for real combat, street fighting, almost all of them are in unison answered, there isn't any, yes, it's disappointing, but they think that's the truth. Extraordinary is the factor that determines a person to be able to win in a lot of street fighting situations, not only in the martial arts itself. There are physical factors, mental factors, stamina factors, talent factors, experience factors and training factors. Even that is still added externally such as the number of opponents faced, the factor of the weapon used by the opponent, the opponent's self-defense ability, and so on. It turns out that the self-defense factor must be supported by that many other factors. In short, the practitioners think that whether a martial art is effective or not depends on the person as well.